Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are trying the sardine salad in the Downton Abbey official cookbook. And it's very interesting to me. It should be pretty quick because there's no cooking or waiting. It does have sardines in it and I've never had sardines before. So, so I'm a little excited to try something new. Plus all the lettuce and ingredients in here are different than your typical toss salad. So I am interested to try this special salad. The book says that this is something that would be normally served at luncheon. So it was about lunchtime for me, so it sounds perfect. So let's make our sardine salad. Okay, we start with two heads of endive lettuce. I chop the stems off and I cut it in half crosswise that's the way the recipe told me to do it, so that's what I did. I put them in my salad bowl with about a tablespoon and a half of fresh chopped parsley. And about three ounces of chopped watercress. This already came that way, so that's, so I just got a bag and didn't really have to do anything with that. It was really easy to find all of this in my local grocery store, so you should be able to find it as well. And just tossing that together a little bit. I should have gave myself more room in the bowl. Okay, that's looking good. Now I need to drain the sardines and break them up with a fork. And go drain these in the sink. They are definitely bigger than I thought they would look. And I'm breaking them up with a fork. Definitely smell like tuna. That's the closest thing I can think of with them. So we'll put that in here. This is sardines in water. So if you feel like getting oil or a different kind, go for it. The cats are circling because they smell the fish. I don't know if you hear the meowing going on around me. Okay, it really just smells like really strong smelling tuna. And I also have a tablespoon of capers. They're just little tiny olive-like things. It doesn't say to stir them up, but I'm gonna just stir it up just a little bit, just to disperse all that. Okay, for our salad dressing, we're gonna use a jar. And we're gonna put one egg yolk, hard boiled egg yolk, and one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. And a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I buy this in bulk, that's why I have my little handwritten container and a pinch of salt a little black pepper obviously this is to taste and it says to mash it right now with a fork that's what we got right now We're gonna do one and a half tablespoons of olive oil. And a tablespoon of lemon juice. I imagine the lemon goes really well with the sardines. All right, now what we're gonna do is put the lid on this jar and shake. Combine it really well. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna drizzle it over the salad. It smells really good. 
Drizzle all over. Okay, let's toss all this together. So it seems the dressing is supposed to be pretty light on here because it doesn't make it soggy or anything. And there's a lot of lettuce to get through and of course the sardines and the capers and all. This is a salad that's supposed to serve four as a side salad or two as a main salad. So it looks huge to me. I think I can handle a side salad as my main salad and be just fine. Okay, it looks good. It actually smells really good too. Okay, I'm going to get my salad bowl, help myself to a serving. And we're ready to try it. Okay, here is my first bite of sardine salad. The sardines by now have dispersed well amongst the leaves, so you have you don't really have big chunks or anything. I'm trying to get a mouthful with a caper and some sardines and a little bit of everything. This has a real bitterness to it. It's kind of spicy. I think that's a cayenne. I think that's a cayenne pepper in the dressing. Which is amazing because there's only a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper and it's gone through this whole salad and still makes a nice little bite. It was kind of surprising at first. But it's good. Like now that I'm over the shock of the cayenne pepper, I think it's good. The watercress is a little bitter. But it balances out well with everything else. I mean, there's already sardines and everything. This is not a fresh salad that you would get on a regular basis. This is de definitely something special to try. The sardines are a nice flavor. The capers are well, actually probably what made it so bitter because in that bite, I didn't take a caper and it tasted fine. So this is all to your taste. If you don't want it so spicy, don't put so much cayenne pepper in it, but if you like spice, I wouldn't put too much more than this because this is just the right amount of spice that you need for a salad. So here's my bowl. I'm gonna go finish this because this is my lunch time. And I hope you all have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe because I have more recipes and more fun coming up for you as always. And I hope you all have a great day. Bye.